Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Chessopolis where I create nostalgic builds in The Sims 4. This is a bit of a different episode where I am actually making over my sim self because we got that really cool update in the game. I wanted to create recreate myself because I don't look like this anymore. So let me just turn on the cheat thing I'm a jig. I'm um, testing cheat is already on. So that should be for that. And let's just click shift here. Bear with me. My computer's running a bit slow because I have a lot of things going on, but I wanted to do this and record at the same time. So it's gonna be a little weird. Do a makeover. <gasps> no. No. Oh, come on, let us. Cher's main thrill in life is a makeover, okay? It gives her a sense of control in a world full of chaos. Please. Sure. <laughs> Why not? All right. <laughs> She's already talking. All right, so here we are in Cass. So I do want to change some things around. Um, first, let's just do a basic change. And Renaissance Sim. This is very true to life, but I am a painter, so by trade and profession. So, okay. I am romantic, I am definitely a booty, and I'm creative, but I'm gonna change these around. Because, you know, I created my Sim self at the beginning of the pandemic. And, you know, um,. You change a little bit. I'm definitely, definitely silly once you get to know me. So obviously in The Sims, you have to get to know someone before you know all their traits. So that works. <laughs> um, where is it? Oh, and I'm family oriented. Cool. Now, the biggest change are these locks. They don't exist anymore. I am not bald. <laughs> but I do have short hair. And I absolutely love it. Uh, a lot, actually. And if you're wondering if I'm cold at all because it's kind of winter time in the States, um... No, not really. Not as much as you would think because I live in the desert, which is also why I was at my sim house in the desert because I'm creating the actual house that I'm getting built right now. So that'll just probably be, end up up on the gallery as opposed to a video because it's constantly changing um, because we're kind of doing it in a way to, to help us inform our design process. Uh, okay, so here we go, face. Okay, we're gonna get into the skin. Mm. This makes me so excited. Okay, um, I wanna click these little thingies. I am more warm, because this is so not my skin tone, so. Wow, oh my gosh. That's me. A little bit, let's change. These little slider thingies, what does it do? That goes dark. It goes light, I guess. Wow. It's like finding your foundation. And being really bad at it like myself at the store. Listen. Wow. That's me. And I do wear glasses. I have different, I have like eight, seven pairs of glasses. So I wear different glasses with every outfit. Um, cause I like to be extra. <laughs> I don't really have glasses like this though. Let's see. 
I don't have any CC turned on, so... Um... I mean, I kind of have ones like this. That are kind of blue and orange. We'll make them blue because that pops against my skin tone. Because as a warm skin tone, reds and things like that can kind of blend into my skin. Oh my god, I cannot believe the skin though. And look at the lips. Oh, the lips, guys. Like, giving us that natural pink. Oh man. Let's see. Give myself a little, you know, because quarantine and whatnot. Uh, made things go a little a little crazier. What is with this? I don't know. I do not have a thigh gap. I have thighs that touch. There we go. That was a little weird. Don't the butts look funny to you? Like, like they don't connect right with the thighs. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. And, okay. I mean, well, it's winter. I'm basically still wearing the same outfit. Um, because I live in the desert, so... But I want to make it gray, because on an everyday basis I'm probably wearing a gray t-shirt or something similar. Um, these shoes... I still have like one pair of sandals like this, but like I don't really wear them. So... Where's the closest to like a canvas shoe? What are these? I mean that's accurate. Boom. Look at that rock. <laughs> okay. Alright, and formal. Aww. Oh, this is such a cute outfit. Let me change the hair, because I don't have any. Sorry, I just really had a moment like, oh my god, what a cute outfit. You're so good at this chest. You're so good. I'm just kidding. But like I am. Um I just really enjoyed this outfit. There we go. Yes, because when I do dress up, I like to wear my Fenty red. And I do wear a dangly. I think this is still pretty accurate. Because I do like to wear dresses and stuff, but... Um, they don't have anything cute, base game-wise. Let me see if I can find a skirt, because I love a good skirt. Like a good A-line. Or, look at this tulip. See? Look, see what it, it just... Okay, I think I made my thighs a bit too big. Okay. And that skirt is like, whoa. Mm, yeah, I'm going to keep it with the same. But I do think I made my thighs too big. There we go. Or this is just maybe that skirt. Yeah. Okay, let's see. What do I have on here for. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. Basically. Of course, I just have no hair. I'm loving this skin. Like, I literally can't stop staring at my skin, which is kind of true to life. I'm always kind of looking at my skin. Um, in amazement that, you know, my teenage woes didn't translate to adulthood in a lot of ways uh, in terms of my skin, and I'm always shocked and looking, but this is really like, that is my skin. Oh, it's crazy. Party wear. What did I have for party wear? Okay, well, let's change the, the hair again. Yes. Do it, Chess. Love it. This is pretty accurate. These are not cute to me, but I don't have the CC I want at the moment. And let's see what I'm wearing for swimwear. This isn't accurate because I have gotten more adventurous in my swimwear because. You know, Lizzo is just like a goddess, and like, 
who doesn't want to love every part of who they are you know it's a daily it's a daily situation you know talking to yourself and things like that but like I got more daring you know it's like let me get a two-piece because why aren't I wearing a two-piece and this hair is giving me blue lagoon 1970s realness and I'm not I'm not a fan there we go hey there chessopolis how you doing that is me cool Okay, and full disclaimer, I mean, this, no, when I had locks, like, no, I wasn't doing a high side pony, but I didn't have CC on here, and I also still have it turned off, because, um, just updated. And yeah, this is accurate. I have a dress, it's probably more of a nitty, with like a slit up the side, but this is close. And I do like to wear a lot of cool colors too, like blues and, well, I also really like mustard. Mustard's, do we have this in like a yellowy color? Where is this? It is. We do have a yellow, but it's not my yellow. But I'll still put it on there because I love a good mustard and it's going to be as good as we're going to get. I mean, accurate. If I had a winter jacket. Because <laughs> I don't. I don't have one. I mostly wear a jean jacket. Yeah, so there we go. Chessopolis. Chess. Chesslin. It's me. <laughs> I love this skin. Okay, one thing I do have that is not on here is tattoos. Um, I did not put tattoos on myself the first time around, evidently. So... Let's do a little situation here. It's a little too high. Because I have two on my wrist and then one on the back of my neck. But we're gonna go like that. Do they have neck tattoos? Yeah, we're gonna do like that. Boom. I mean, that's pretty accurate. Yeah. Yep. There. Now, this is me. Tattoos and all. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I am coming out with a wintry kind of build, and it's uh, a renovation in the Gilmore Girls world that I have yet to super create, but piece by piece it's coming together, I guess. And by piece, I mean this first build that you're going to be seeing me do a renovation of. <laughs> um, oh yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone is being... Uh, merry and jolly during this time of year um, even with everything happening I hope you're safe and well and uh, like and subscribe for more thank you bye <laughs>